As I'm sure you all know by now, Ash's rival, Paul, is finally returning in Pokemon Journeys, as revealed by the new opening theme. There's a lot of speculation about why Paul is returning, whether it's for a World Coronation Series battle, or for some other reason. But this video is going to focus on that first concept, Paul returning to battle Ash in the World Coronation Series. Paul is known for having such a huge and powerful roster of Pokemon to choose between, so a lot of fans are wondering what Pokemon Paul will show up with in Pokemon Journeys. So in this video, I'll be constructing the perfect team that I think Paul is gonna have. I mean, of course, if Paul does battle Ash in Pokemon Journeys, it's very likely that it'll only be a 2v2 or a 3v3, but I'm gonna give Paul six Pokemon, just because it makes the most sense to give him a full team. Be sure to comment below the Pokemon that you think Paul will have, smash the thumbs up button too, and now let's jump straight into the team. I think Paul's first team member will be his Torterra. You know what, it's not that I think it'll be Torterra, it's that it has to be Torterra, surely. I remember so many fans being gutted and confused that Paul didn't use Torterra against Ash in the Sinnoh League, considering it's his first and strongest Pokemon. That was a massive missed opportunity, and I can't imagine the writers doing it again. We want to see a Torterra vs Pikachu showdown. A massive slow tank versus a tiny speedy attacker. A battle between Ash and Paul's starter Pokemon. It would be perfect. Not only this, but the Chimchar evolution line and the Piplup evolution line have both received a ton of promotion in Pokemon Journeys. Whereas the Turtwig evolution line has received nothing at all. So, Paul using Torterra when he returns is the perfect way to fix that. The second team member should be Paul's Electivire. I know Ash already beat Paul's Electivire, and Paul canonically likes to switch out his Pokemon if people have defeated them in the past, so that he's not predictable or easy to counter. But Electivire is just way too iconic to not be in this team. Electivire is arguably Paul's second strongest Pokemon ever. Its rivalry and showdown with Infernape was so famous and incredible and iconic that it even featured in a flashback in Pokemon Journeys. Electivire needs to be in their next battle, for those reasons alone. Plus, I think it would be a really great testament to Paul's character development that he was willing to stick by Electivire's side even when Electivire was technically the Pokemon that lost him the Sinnoh League. I think the third member of Paul's team in Pokemon Journeys will be his Ursa Luna. Paul's Ursa Ring was one of his main Pokemon, but he didn't use it in his battle against Ash in the Sinnoh League because Ash had already defeated it before. But if Ursa Ring somehow evolves into its Hisuian evolution, Ursa Luna, then that would be the perfect justification for Paul to use Ursa Luna in this battle since it's a brand new Pokemon to Ash. Plus it's massive and bulky, so that fits Paul perfectly. Plus, we'd finally get some proper Legends Arceus promotion, since the Legends Arceus arc didn't really do much of that. Finally, I would love to get a Dracovish versus Ursa Luna battle, since they're both ancient and possibly functionally extinct Pokemon. It would be like a battle of ancient history. I think the fourth member of Paul's team will be his Mega Agron. Paul's Agron was one of his main Pokemon, and I think that Agron is going to be used as a tool to showcase Paul's character development. In the Diamond and Pearl series, Paul was cold and harsh and at times even abusive towards his Pokemon. He saw them only for their strength, not for their personalities or characteristics or for his bond with them. All he cared about was how powerful they were. But then, throughout the series, Ash and Paul's rivalry really developed Paul greatly, to the point that he began becoming more and more open and respectful towards his Pokemon. So, if Agron returns and has mastered Mega Evolution, that would be the perfect way to show that Paul has developed so far and truly bonded with his Pokemon. Since Mega Evolution is only possible when the trainer and Pokemon have an incredibly close bond. 
So for Paul to have that with his Agron shows just how much he's developed from the start of the Diamond and Pearl series. Plus, we could get a Mega Steel type showdown between Mega Lucario and Mega Agron. So that is an added bonus. I have a feeling the fifth member of Paul's Pokemon Journeys team will be Corviknight. One of Paul's main Pokemon was his Honchkrow. He used Honchkrow in so many battles and so many episodes. They worked really, really well together. I think Corviknight majorly has those same vibes as Honchkrow. It feels like Honchkrow, but bulkier and stronger, which fits Paul perfectly. Corviknight is the main bird of Generation 8, and despite that, it hasn't really had much focus in Pokemon Journeys so far. I just have a feeling that Corviknight is going to be one of Paul's new main Pokemon. It just looks like it would fit Paul, and it would give Corviknight the battle focus that it deserves. Finally, I think the sixth and final member of Paul's team will be Toxtricity. I mean, first of all, just look at this Pokemon. It fits Paul absolutely perfectly, not only in terms of colour scheme, but also in terms of mood and vibes, if that makes sense. I could easily see Paul with this Pokemon. Toxtricity is one of the most popular and iconic Generation 8 Pokemon, yet we've only ever seen Toxtricity in one very brief scene, so it's time to give Toxtricity the focus that it deserves. I really, really, really love the low-key implications of Paul having a Toxtricity, because it means that he likely raised it all the way from when it was a baby Toxel. And raising a baby Pokemon like Toxel truly shows how far he's developed since the Diamond and Pearl series. Since he'd have to be emotional and open and caring towards Toxel, and he would really have to see beyond just strength. So I think Toxtricity is perfect for Paul. So there we go. I think Paul's team in Pokemon Journeys will be Torterra, Electivire, Ursaluna, Mega Agron, Corviknight, and Toxtricity. Paul typically uses a whole bunch of different Pokemon, often focusing on ones that Ash has never battled before. So it makes a ton of sense to me for Paul to have two old Pokemon, Torterra and Electivire, two old Pokemon but with new forms, Ursaluna and Mega Agron, and two brand new Pokemon, Corviknight and Toxtricity. I also have two honourable mentions that I was so close to including in this team. One is Obstagoon, and two is Grimmsnarl. I think they both really fit Paul, but I have a feeling that Piers and Marnie will be the ones to show those Pokemon off. Let me know in the comments below which Pokemon you think Paul will have in Pokemon Journeys, if he has a full team of six. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, it really, really, really does help me out. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, I'll catch you all in the next one.